I didn't buy a rap record until I was probably like in college, to be honest. My mom was heavily influenced in in the church and she was always ministering to, to folks. And anything with profanity couldn't be in the house, really. The main thing I could listen to was Christian gospel music. In hip hop, sampling is like alchemy. It's an art form that rearranges space and time. And the producers who build on the tradition use sonic DNA from the past to cook up the future. Now, even when you know how it works, it can still feel like magic. DJ Dahi may be understated, but his work speaks volumes, especially when he deconstructs vocals or manipulates his own voice in ways that show just how far the craft of sampling is stretched. A producer who wasn't allowed to listen to profane music growing up, Dahi found Church in the Wild and made Texture his own sonic ministry. My understanding of sampling is kind of, I put it in three categories. Number one is the perfect loop. You find that loop that is just incredible, that doesn't really need to be changed. Another one is the chop. You move parts and, and melodies and, and grooves and drums to a certain kind of new interpretation of that. And then the last one I, I is kind of like the reverse. Start spinning it backwards and see what it sounds like. When it comes to beats for Pusha T, I felt like I wanted something that felt kind of scary, but still felt like kind of, kind of um, spiritual. The sample that I made, I created from um, vocal loops and effects and, and started to just build some drums around that, kind of created a groove or, or pocket of some stuff. Put you in kind of like in the clouds somehow, some way. It sounds kind of ghostly. It sounds like some some spirit singing type of thing. I use a lot of my own sounds that I make up, you know, basically from my voice, hands. I guess I don't really feel like I have a particular sound, but I have a kind of a a, a texture. Reverb is kind of like a huge part of that. How the 808 fills up the bottom. Reverb feels at the top. Valentino summers and wave runners. Chains on my niggas like slave runners. Drug dealers anonymous. How many Madonnas can that Mazda fit? My brick talk is more than obvious. It's ominous. Garage is the phantom. Goose, ghost, and goblin. One of my favorite records called Money Trees off of Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City album. I produced it with the sample Silver Soul by Beach House. With this particular one, I, 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 as soon as I heard it, I just liked the sound of the crackly sound in the beginning and just like the way we kind of built in. I, I tried a couple little little things chop-wise, but I was like, yo, I just like the sound. I, I don't want to break it up, so let me just try to reverse it. The idea behind reverse records being this satanic, devilish, you know, experience is, is straight, you know, ridiculous. If they hear something that they don't understand or something that sounds foreign, people are are claim are quick to claim it as, you know, bad. Uh, me and my niggas trying to get it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Get that house yeah, nigga, tell me is you with it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Home yeah, invasion was persuasive. Was persuasive, was persuasive. From nine to five, I know it's vacant, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Dreams yeah, bitch. that live in life like that. When we first started talking about Damn, we started to just literally just have man-to-man -man -man conversations about, um, you know, the Bible. And I think we just kind of came to the conclusion where it's like, you know, at least what we've been taught, at least from, you know, even me going to church and me like, you know, we're all sinners. We, we are still beings of the physical, you know, so the flesh and bone, like we still have needs and desires that we can't even explain. You're damned if you do, damn if you don't, so you might as well just just do you. All those conversations created a, a narrative for this album. Tonight. When I first heard 24 Karat, that, that part was like, oh, that's the best part to me in the record. I had the original sample came from um, Boy Soundwave. It's a sample, reverse, chop, slash. It's like all the elements I talked about earlier of just like chop, reverse, 
melody, loop, kind of all come together on that particular thing. It's like almost like a coded language. Like you gotta like, you know, dig a little bit to kind of figure out how we did it. Kendrick gave it to me, he was like, why you chop the sample is really dope, can you mess around with it? And I started just mumbling our melodies and like, I like this kind of like energy, geeked up, five, like, I like that pattern. And he was like, yo, that's dope, that's really dope. Uh, let me write you, let me write the lyrics and you just sing it. I said I'm geek and I'm fired up. And it's funny, at first I was like, I just thought it was gonna be a reference. I was like, okay, keep it as a reference. You can see if you can get someone else to sing it, whatever. I wouldn't say we all have demo-itis, but when you first hear something, it's something about that first idea that sticks with you. The first voice you hear on the record is my, my vocals. I said I'm geek and I'm fired up. All I want to not just get higher. Sampling records to me is like a really dope thing because it's a it's like digging for gold and you start you find that nugget and it's like oh wow this is this is dope it sounds fresh I want to kind of break sound I want to break the barrier of, of like what people are kind of used to and say like oh I want to give you this it's all about kind of um, the texture. Do you ever think of music as your ministry? Wow. I never, I stopped going to church. And I stopped going like probably when I was like 18. The structure of religion kind of lost me. Music is probably the closest thing I'm, I'm, I am to on a level of like spirituality. Because I think it is, I think it is holy. I think it is godly. And you hit me with, you hit me with the, <laughs> the God level questions. <laughs>